All right, my friends, now we have reached the final advanced technique, the last advanced tool that we have in the toolbox in order to work with the data structure in Python. And to be honest, this one is the coolest feature in Python. We have the list comprehensions. So what is this? Now we have learned in the advanced topics that we can iterate through the data. We can do data transformations and manipulations. We can filter our data, but now how about to put them all together in one simple line. Sounds like a perfect plan, right? So now let's deep dive into the list comprehensions. Okay, so now let's say that we have the following three prices and I would like to, let's say, multiply the prices, but only for the high prices, only if the price is higher than 50. So the 80 gonna be 160, the 20, it will not pass the test. That's why it will not appear in the results and the 100, it's gonna be 200. So we are filtering and transforming the data. Now, in order to build this in Python, we could use the way of comprehension. Well, we don't have a keyword like a method or function for that. You have to build three blocks in one line. The first block is going to be your data transformation. So it's going to be your expression, the price multiplied by two. And then the next block is going to be the loop itself. It's going to be a very simple for loop in order to go and iterate through the items of your list. And now in the third and last block, you will define how to filter your data. And for that, we're going to use the if statement with the condition price is higher than 50. Now what's going to happen behind the scenes if you execute this one line of code? The first thing, Python going to go and create the iterator out of your list. And after that, it's going to build a classical for loop where it's going to go through all the items one by one. And once there are no more items to process, it's going to go and jump to the end. Now, what is interesting, what's going to happen inside the loop? Well, Python first is going to go and filter your data. So we're going to have first the if condition. It's going to check whether the price is higher than 50. And only if this is true, Python going to go and do your data transformation. So the expression going to be price multiplied by two and then go back to the start of the loop. And now here it is interesting. If it is not fulfilling the condition, it is false. This time it's gonna skip everything and go back to the top of the loop. So that means if your item is not fulfilling the condition, it will not be transformed and as well, it will not be appended in the new list. So it will not appear at all in the final results. So now let's go through it quickly with this example. Python gonna go and grab the first value, the 80. Then first it's gonna try to filter it. But since it is fulfilling the condition 80 is higher than 50, why? It's gonna go and implement your expression so it can multiply it by two and append it to the new list then go back to the top of the loop and grab the next item it's gonna be the 20 now 20 gonna go to the test and this time it's gonna fail it because 20 is not higher than 50 this time we're gonna go to the false and it's gonna skip everything and go back to the top so for the 20 we will not have anything for it in the output now the last one we have the 100 it is passing the test but I'm gonna go and multiply it with the two and then it's gonna go and append it to our new list of course at the end and then go back to the top of the list well we don't have any more items to process it's gonna go and exit the loop and then return the new list so this is how the comprehension works and python gonna execute it like this first it's gonna loop through your items try to filter your data and then if it passes the filter it will run your expression to modify your data and one last thing that you have to understand filtering the data is optional so that means actually you can skip it if you do that python has to iterate through all the items and apply the expression for all the items. So filtering the data is totally optional. Okay, so now let's practice. I'm going to show you an example that I have as well in a project. So I had like a list of domains, a URLs for the domains could come in different formats. So for example, you could have like www.google.com and maybe another one, for example, i.com and a third one, it's going to be like localhost. So you don't have .com or anything. And last one, let's make it uppercase data with para. Dot com. Now you can see the data is not really clear. We have different formats, different cases, and as well, we don't have like a domain here in the local hosts. So I would like to normalize and transform the data to a standard format and at the same time, removing things that are not actually domain. So that means I have to do at the same time transformation and filtering. And for that, we're going to use that comprehension. First, we start with a new list. So let's call it cleans. So now here we have to add the three blocks. The first one is data transformation. The second gonna be the for loop. And the third gonna be data filtering. 
Now, usually I start with the for loop. Of course, you can put everything in one line, by the way. Now for the for loop, it's going to be very simple for D in domains. That's it, without double points, by the way. So with that, I have the iteration and the loop. The next step, I start working on the data transformation. So now what we're going to do in the data transformation, we're going to clean up the data. The first thing that is really annoying is the lower and upper case. So I'm going to say I want to skip the upper case. I'm going to make everything lower case. So for each domain, apply the method lower. So this is the first thing. After we made everything lower, we can go and get rid of the first part, www dot, because it is unnecessary necessary for domains so i'm gonna say replace remove for me the first part and replace it with nothing so this is how you remove now i'm gonna say if you do that you're gonna clean up the data and i think the best example here is the openai.com it is lowercase and as well without the first part so with that we have covered the two blocks and now we come to the data filtering of course this is optional but now i need it in order to remove the local host so it is actually very simple we're gonna start with an f so what is the condition? Well, actually, the domain should contain a dot. If we don't have dot, then this is not valid. So if dot in D, if that's true, then do the transformation. Well, actually, that's it. So as you can see between the blocks, there will be no commas. There will be no double points or whatever. Of course, if you want to put everything in one line, you can do that. So if I go and do this, then after that, the four, I just have to separate using a space. Then, of course, it's going to work. But to be honest, I like it like this because it is easier to read, right? Now, the last step, of course, we have to go and print our new list. So now let's go and try this out. Well, I have an issue. Sure, I think I have here one extra W, right? So <laughs> let me just try it again. Now look at those domains. They look really nice. So we don't have the W's at the start and everything is lower cased. So everything is clean and normalized and we don't have as well our bad data, the local hosts. So look at this, how Python is amazing and very compacted. We have done many things in one statement. So we created a new list, we iterated through the items, we have done cleanup and data transformations, and we have built a filter on the data in just one line or let's say here, three lines. So this is amazing. Now, let me just show you it quickly. If you go and remove the filter and execute, it's going to work. You will not get any syntax error. But with that, you are getting, of course, the bad data and the output. And by the way, there is one more thing that I can show you with that. I can get back my filter. But let's say that I just want to filter the data, but I don't want to change actually the values. So I don't want to do any transformations. But if you go and like remove it and execute, you will get an error, of course. You have to have a first part. But now now, instead of writing a whole expression, I just go and add the item. So only the D. If you do that, then Python can accept it. And with that, we are saying, OK, append the D, but don't do any transformations on it. And this setup here, we are just filtering the data and creating a new list. Let's try this out. Now, look at this. We have only three items, so we don't have the local host, but we have the exact same values like before without any normalizations. So this is as well one way in order only to filter the data without doing any manipulations if you want the same values as before. And of course, I think in this scenario, I can go and put everything in one line because it is very quick and short. So if you go and execute it, it will work. So again, you can do transformation and filtering or only transformation without filtering. And the last scenario like here, only filtering the data. So once you understand the three blocks, it's going to be easy to understand what is going on here. Because to be honest, at the start, as I saw the comprehensive list, it was not really clear for me what is going on. So D for D in domain, it was a little bit hard for me. But as I understood the block and how things works behind the scenes, everything clicked and I understood how this works. All right, my friends. So let's recap. The list comprehensions is the coolest thing in Python. You combine actually three things. We go and loop through the list. Then we do data filtering and the last thing we do data transformation and everything is actually in one line so this is very powerful for data analysis and data engineering and this is the most elegant feature that i know about data in python so if you like this video and you would like to have more free content like this then support the channel by subscribing liking commenting this really can help the channel to grow and to reach others like you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video